My name's 5'8". I'm a Montreal-based artist, painter, neon vendor, mural painter. Oh, I repeated painter twice there. <laughs> I was doodling since like a young child. Towards the end of high school, I got into doing graffiti. That sort of like triggered my passion to improve and develop skill. And uh, yeah, from there it just became a, a career. Not the graffiti writing, but painting and creating in general. I was painting some stylized leather forms many years ago that resembled the path that a uh, neon tube would take. But, uh, after a while, I decided that I wanted to make one of these uh, stylized leather pieces into a 3D sculpture made from neon. So I threw, threw a, another friend who was a glass bender making pipes and bongs. Uh, I asked if he knew anyone who worked with Neon, and he had previously studied uh, under my now mentor, uh, Gerald Collard from Atelier Neon family. Basically, this whole system is unchanged for like a hundred years. You know, a lot, a lot of the components are modernized to some degree. But uh, a lot, most of the equipment is, follows the same designs as uh, when it was invented in 1911 or before. Yeah, there's so, there's so many things to take into account, like uh, the angles of your, of your bends, uh, the size of your pieces. There's so many limitations with the medium that you can't always translate directly what you have on paper unless you have a lot of experience and can approach the paper with all that knowledge, like the foresight of how it's gonna play out when you do it with glass. Uh, one day I would like to develop the skills to the point where I could build anything. I would like to integrate neon with other 3D materials like uh, wood or masonry or uh, you know, foam that's sealed and coated with, with resin. You know, build these uh, sculptural installations out of uh, 3D materials and, and the neons will be a component in that.